Hi, my name is Melissa Lockwood, and now I'm going to be uh, talking about zero waste pattern making. Um, with all the, you know, fashion industry mass production waste that's going into the landfills, um, the designers need to start to consider to do zero waste designing more and more so that the waste doesn't go in the landfills. Um, I'll just see if I can show you this visual. Um, the areas in white are actual garment pieces, the parts to make like a jacket and a pair of shorts. Everything in yellow gets thrown into the landfill. And so um, I'll show you uh, a really sim simple, um, simple um, zero waste pattern based on trapezoids. Um, You've just muted yourself, Melissa. There you um, go. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so I'm switching. Now I'm showing you a zero waste pattern. And um, it's trapezoid. So you can cut out an entire spread of fabric. And then you can end up with a skirt made with trapezoids. Um, yeah, so um, I guess I'll just go through it. A variety of um, quick sketches I made this morning um, of zero waste patterns. This is a, a zero waste jacket made with um, two rectangles, front, back of jacket, and eight trapezoids that make the sleeves. So if you take four of them with the wide end, we, you know, starting on attaching to the jacket here, as these tapered ends get narrower, it makes the sleeve narrower. And um, yeah, so all you have to do to make the head opening is just not so it shut. And um, you can measure um, the size of your arm opening and that will determine the width of the wider part divided by four and you want to leave a little extra. So that's a way to make a shirt, front, back, sleeves, and a, or a jacket. And you can even add a hood on, just two squares and cha-cha, and sew it along. It, it comes around the, um, the back and the front. Somehow you can make a, easily make a hood. I have photos of all these things, but I have to use my um, phone today. <laughs> So here's another zero waste garment. Um, this is just like a yard of fabric. It'll make like a small to medium sized garment, which is gonna be a dress because you take all these segments and sew them into one long strip. And then you um, take one piece and put it around your shoulders and you can snip it off, make a circle, and then you sew a spiral down to create a cylinder that makes a dress exactly like that, totally zero waste. Another interesting fact about the fashion industry manufacturing waste is that the most common um, off-cut remnant shape is the long narrow strip. And that's because they cut off, like let's say this is a, a one big piece of fabric, you know, when they're manufacturing, they lay it in stacks, stacks, stacks. And so, you know, everything's cut out in multiple, but let's say the white is the edge of the fabric. They cut that off of three to four sides so that when they lay the pattern, which is one big printout that has the parts, it's like this. All those edge pieces go immediately into a waste bin. But as you can see, like here's wider strips pulled right out of a waste container in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Um, there's uh, some fast fashion merchant you know, like makers down there and uh, they even throw away their 
studio waste, but this was manufacturing. I could have made about 500 or more of these dresses. Um, but so, you know, basically zero waste is when you use the entire spread of fabric to make, a, you know, I could make a top that's like a spiral or I could and make a skirt or I can make a dress. Uh, so let's move on to another random one that I came up with this morning. Um, so this is a wrap skirt. <clears throat> it's very simple. You have um, this is this fabric for the skirt. This is one yard here. And um, so then I just cut a strip off and then I'll fold this one down. And then I sew these two shorter pieces on the edges so that they would stick out and that makes a, a tie strap. Or you can fold it, this part down and make a tube and cut off, you know, one more long strip and tie that to this other long one and run it through so that you have like a pull drawstring tying skirt. You know? Otherwise you just wrap it around. Um, there's so many variations that can be zero waste that are very simple and they are elegant. Um, here's another one. I've made many of these um, because you commonly find in the fashion industry waste, like I said, these long narrow pieces. And then um, if you wanna do it without fashion industry waste, but you wanna buy a yard or two of fabric, you can cut the long pieces from your measurement from um, your shoulder down to your waist. And then all the the squares get sewn on to make like a, a D shape, a D and a D and a D. And then you just sew those together, the long narrow edges, you know, vertically like zoop, zoop, zoop. And you make a cylinder with that. Um, but yeah, so that's another one. It makes a really kind of like flapper dress, but it's zero waste because you, um, even if the, if you make it to your size and it's a little shorter, you just um, add two more squares or whatever, and then you sew them on the bottom and it, it looks really cool. It's like fun to wear. And you can, you can even imagine that if you have a, a dress form for draping, you can cut your fabric up into willy nilly shapes and lay it on the dress form and, you know, piece together the pieces for the top. And, um, and then the random parts can be um, put down on as a drapey part in the bottom or just make a dress or, I feel like I'm mostly making um, traditionally female clothing right now, but it can be very flexible. Um, this is another really interesting zero waste piece that I discovered when I um, I collect a lot of fabric that fashion designers throw away directly from their um, design studios and maybe they rip a piece apart and they just like, I don't know, but I found these things, anything that's similar to a triangle it can actually be a big triangle, like a half a yard of fabric in a triangle shape or a two or, you know, like a triangle that gets wider at the bottom. All you have to do is take the garment you want to make measurements around here and you take um, the tip of the triangle and you, you measure half of that and then you fold that fabric down and then you have a, a cylinder and then you just take the rest of that triangle and you sew it around to the bottom of that and it's like the world's easiest draping um i was teaching the last couple of summers at a private high school um summer arts program fashion design and my my students like really were shocked and they were like they ran with it because they could um do so many variations on that, but 
it's a really interesting zero waste technique where you can um, take an odd shaped piece of fabric you want, you take it around your shoulders, you make it a circle, you know, human forms are basic cylinders. And so if you leave openings for the arms and a hole for the head, you can just, you know, um, if you want stitch that part open, shut on the shoulders and open up under the sleeves, you can pop your arms through. And um, it sounds really crude, but the things actually look really elegant. And you can, you know, combine different zero waste pieces. Like, let's say you want to make a collection of 12 different garments and you want them all to be zero waste. You can cut out a lot of rectangles. You could cut out a lot of narrow strips. You can diamonds work, um, these kind of, I don't know what that shape is, but anything that you can see that's a repeating shape, like I guess the trapezoid was a, a really good way to demonstrate radial projection um, because all you need is a piece of fabric and you try to make a cylinder out of it. And then if you can do that at the top, then whatever else happens is uh, what happens. And it works out to be wearable. Um, but the reason, you know, like that there's um, so much of a need to find zero waste pattern making is that um, massive quantities of those remnant shapes. Like I said earlier, the yellow parts go in the landfill globally. Um, and that creates a lot of greenhouse gas emissions and pollution. Um, and it's like 92 million tons of fashion waste go into the um, landfills every year worldwide. And that's a lot. Um, Okay, so does anyone have any questions for me about zero waste pattern making? No, I was just I was just writing that it's so it's really interesting how all your ideas, how the anatomy comes together with geometry. It's really it's really fascinating and and uh, and inspiring also. I'm going to oh. try these things. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Um. <laughs> I've been um, yeah. uh, uh, inc incubated by the Buckminster um, Fuller Institute the... as a design science studio, di design scientist in their studio. And they chose me because I think um, that I am a, a natural with geometry. And uh, I, yeah, but you should, yeah, try it all, cut it. You can mathematically determine just by measuring your wrist size and your this size and across this and then just be like oh I need 22 inches to go around my shoulder sleeve and then how can I do that with pieces that are geometric you know uh, and you can also do it with the biomorphic shapes also yeah I'm doing a lot of my clothes um myself so okay. i'm quite familiar with that but this uh this your idea of of the zero waste uh, in the cutting and using all the fabric it's really fascinating and and really nice i'm going to do some tryouts awesome thank you yeah, thank you if you can stick around for the next segment it's about um fashion industry pattern area waste and how I've developed a system to make mass production um, patterns zero waste. I call it Metatronic Calculations, which is um, something I developed by reverse um, engineering Euclidean math that, because I couldn't find another way to describe my process without, um, you know, defining it in um, yeah, and they... geometry terms. And so, when 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 is it going to be? Immediately after this. Okay.